as you guys saw earlier, it was really early, really dark. I just made my coffee with Vital Proteins. I do one scoop of the collagen creamer and then one scoop of the collagen peptides. That's just what works best for me. My second cup is just a half cup. It just fills this up, heats my cup up, and I just do black coffee. Like I just add black coffee to that. Good morning. Today is Tuesday and we are doing a what I eat in a day. These are some of my favorite videos, some of my most request videos. It's also tiny tots. So I got my yoga in this morning. We're making some blueberry banana pancakes, you guys. It's a new recipe. Doug found it. They are so delicious. And the texture of these ones are like chef's kiss delicious. They're made with coconut flour. They actually like fluff up, they're light. Please always remember that I make things that work best for me and my body. I know that I can eat some things that you might not be able to eat. Like I can eat apples, they digest okay in my body and I don't show any signs or symptoms. And I have dialogue with my holistic doctor that if I can eat something to just eat it. Also you guys, a very exciting note is that my holistic doctor has me starting to reincorporate foods because we've been treating the SIBO for over a year now. We've been doing treatment. I've been on this low FODMAP diet for over a year and I've been able to incorporate small amounts of different foods back. Like I've tried cheese and a little bit of honey and a little bit of chocolate. Oh my God, you guys just a little bit, but I am still eating in a SIBO paleo based manner, but I just eat in the way that makes my body feel good. And I urge you to do the same. If something that I make does not make your body feel good, don't eat it, okay? But if I can eat something, I'm gonna eat it. And if I can eat something, I wanna share that with you because if it's something that you have not tried yet and you try it and you can eat it, eat it. Like we're so restricted on SIBO low FODMAP diet that it's so important to just eat the foods that you can eat and focus on the foods that you can eat, if that makes sense. So we're gonna make some blueberry pancakes. They're delicious. I've gotta throw myself together. We're gonna go on a walk later. I'm gonna sip all my coffee. I'm gonna go get live dressed. And we're gonna make our first official meal of the day, which is you guys have to check out this recipe. They are so delicious. The recipe is listed in the description box down below. If you guys do try this recipe, go tag me on Instagram. I'm charlenetown underscore. I would love to see your guys' pancakes that you guys make, or just let me know in the comments down below if you guys check it out. They are so good. I know you're gonna love them. Also, the key is these wild blueberries because they're small, they're teeny tiny. When we tried using bigger blueberries in these, the pancakes just got too squishy. So I highly recommend the wild blueberries. I will check in with you when I eat next. But we are gonna enjoy breakfast and get ready for Tiny Tots. Oh no, you dropped your egg. Mm. So Liv is at Tiny Tots and I have a new goal is to get out for a walk every Tuesday and Thursday, just get the dogs outside. I hope I can do it in 20 minutes. I have a little over a mile loop in my neighborhood. So we're just gonna go for a quick walk. The whole idea of this walk twice a week, it's to move my body a little bit more every week. I have goals before we get to Maui, but I can't jump into my Sydney Cummings workouts like I used to be able to do. And so I'm trying to find healthy movement for me and my body and what works best for me. So going for walks, 10 minutes of weights, yoga, just healthy movement every single day. Yeah, so getting back into a new habit, a new routine. So I have an idea for doing a, how to create a new healthy habit and incorporate it into your life. I've got some really great ideas. So if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to film that for you. And let's go on this walk.
All right, you guys, so I'm still sipping on my coffee, and since this is not only what I eat in a day, but this is my March check-in for the Mind, Body, and Soul series. So last month, I made the goal to try at least five new recipes to push myself out of my comfort zone to try some new things and really to just open up what I eat because I feel like I eat the same things over and over and over again. And also this month, with trying all these new recipes, it's really made me think about what a healthy lifestyle means and what it means to eat healthy. And I had it ingrained in my head, sweet equals bad, green equals healthy if that makes sense. And this last month, I've tried so many new recipes and so many delicious recipes and really all of the Earthy Andy from the cookbook from Earthy Andy, a lot of her recipes, like her smoothies, her smoothie bowls, they're delicious and they're sweet. And my favorite recipe, which we're gonna make together today, is the vanilla smoothie or whatever. Me and Liv call it the vanilla smoothie and we love it. I add greens to mine because I love adding greens wherever I can in my day just because that's what works best for me and my body. But I was drinking this smoothie and going, oh my goodness, I shouldn't drink this, it's sweet. Oh my goodness, I shouldn't drink this, it's a treat. I shouldn't have a treat. My goodness, let's just take a second. <sighs> the sunshine is fueling my soul. So I feel like this month I'm redefining what a healthy lifestyle looks like, what healthy movement looks like, what healthy looks like for me. And I think we should all do that. What works best for you and your body may not be what's best for me and my body, and that's okay. We all get to choose and we all get to do what is best for us. So I'm redefining what I think is healthy and I am really enjoying the way that I'm eating right now, which is why we're doing a what I eat in a day. Those pancakes, delicious, so good. I add extra eggs to mine because healthy fats and extra protein keeps me full longer. Like what does healthy lifestyle mean to you? Does that mean getting in a 30 minute workout? Does that mean just going for a walk? Does that mean, you know, doing some yoga, doing a HIIT workout? Like what does it mean? For you. For me, I just want to be able to move my body every day. Being someone who struggles with chronic pain, chronic illness, I'm trying to find the balance. I want to be fit. I like having a more muscular body and I like being lean. It's just how I feel good in my body. It's how I feel good about myself and I need to figure out a sustainable way to do that. Do I love Sydney workouts? Absolutely. If I could do Sydney workouts every day, I would. Hi, Vivi. Come here. Hi. Did you enjoy your walk? Did you enjoy your walk? Yeah. But making sure to get these guys out for a walk, that makes my heart happy. Walking is good for my body. Running, not good for my body. Walking, great for my body. And I wanna tone up, so I'm lifting weights. Right now I'm keeping it light weights and short periods of time because that's what works best for me and my body. So moving forward in March, I am going to be incorporating five to 10 minute weighted workouts or body specific workouts. I went to Sydney Cummings YouTube page and Phoebe is playing with her toy right here. And she has five minute workouts, 10 minute workouts, and I just bookmarked a bunch of them, you know, that I thought I would like. Yeah, so I'm gonna be incorporating five to 10 minutes of body specific workouts so that I can start toning up my body in a gentle way using bands and light weights. And I'll increase my weights as I get stronger and my body allows me to do so. And then I'm gonna keep up with you know, trying to find more foods that work really good for my body. I started using a new cookbook. It's not a new cookbook. It's an old cookbook. It's an anti-inflammatory paleo cookbook that I bought years and years ago. And I brought that back out again. And so we're making a delicious healthy pad thai recipe for dinner tonight. So stick around, you don't wanna miss that. And I am gonna go jump into some work, but I'll check in with you guys when it's snack time. And checking back in. I thought I was recording before, but I wasn't. I am working, working away while Liv's at Tiny Tots, but I am starving. I realized like the extra walk and just being up since five, I'm hungry. So I'm eating a perfect bar because first of all, these are delicious. I know that these have some milk in them. 
They don't bother my stomach. Again, do what is best for you and your body always. These work well for me. I love them and they're just like a quick easy snack that I can grab and I need those in my life. I'm working on my website. I'm writing a blog post for my website, Charlene Town. I talk all things psoriatic arthritis over there, chronic illness support, and I'm going to talk more SIBO gut things over there. So if you guys are looking for more support in that area, go check it out, charlenetown.com. So exciting. So many fun things coming your way. So I'm just going to get some work done and then we're going to be leaving soon to go pick up Liv and then we'll make a smoothie and enjoy some sunshine. It's going to be so great. Got my book. Believe it to achieve it. Thanks, Chelsea. So I wanted to talk really quickly about this book for our March check-in. I've taken a pause on my seven healthy habits. And basically, you guys, this is just an easier to digest book, but it's got the same principles as the seven healthy habits, if that makes sense. What I've been really, really enjoying about this book, it has very practical exercises. So I've been working through all of these exercises. This book has been really great. I've been really enjoying it. We are back. We're going to make smoothies. One second. We're going to make our smoothie out of the plant over processed. It's the vanilla smoothie. I will have the recipe linked down below. One whole banana. I like to let my bananas ripen up first and then I freeze them because I like frozen bananas in my smoothie. So one full banana, a half cup coconut milk. I go back and forth between coconut milk and macadamia nut milk. I just happen to have this coconut milk open and I need to use it. So there you go. Medjool dates. Some people say to soften these first, but I find that there's no problem. I just pinch them in half, make sure to take the pit out. And I do one and a half. Half teaspoon vanilla. I like Organic Girl. This is the baby spring mix. Now this part is optional, but I always add vanilla protein. I do the Lean Vanilla Protein by Tropica. I love this one. However, this does have stevia in it. So if stevia doesn't work for you, don't do it. Use whatever works best for you. You also don't have to add this at all. I just like adding protein into my smoothies. And I'm just gonna do one tablespoon. Then I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of ashwagandha powder. It just helps my anxiety and I like that. And a handful of ice. Mmm. Cheers, it is perfection. I'm gonna go spend some quality time with Liv, drink my smoothie, and then I'll check in with you guys later. Oh, hey, I just came in from doing a 10 minute cardio kickboxing with Sydney Cummings. Just felt good. My muscles feel good. I feel a little bit worked. So I have leftovers because your girl loves leftovers. Mm, mm, mm. I was gonna plate this all pretty for you, but real life mom life. So I have leftover salmon cakes that I'm gonna eat. I was gonna make it into a salad for you and do all that, but real deal. This is how I'm gonna eat it. Doug just called to let me know he has to work late tonight, so I'm gonna be making you guys a buckwheat noodle pad thai, but it's not actually buckwheat noodle. I'll show you what it is. When I started doing paleo, I got this anti-inflammatory cookbook. Now, I never did this four week plan, but if you can tell, I bookmarked all of these recipes that I thought would be good, and I feel like I tried a lot of them. I made these salmon cakes last night and I made them SIBO gut friendly. So in this recipe, it calls for Worcestershire sauce and hot sauce and scallions and that kind of stuff. So I changed it and put in my seasonings, my spices in a way that I can eat for SIBO gut friendly. So if you guys are interested in a delicious, like the whole family loves them, okay? Liv ate them, Liv loved them, incredible. Those are the recipes that I'm like, yes. If you guys are interested in a really good salmon cake really easy recipe let me know in the comments down below because we can film that next 
But today, we're gonna make pad thai. So the recipe calls for buckwheat noodles, which is great. I just couldn't find any at my grocery store. But I found these, and these are made with organic brown rice, flour, and organic eggs, and that is it. It says it's free from milk, fish, shellfish, tree nuts, peanuts, gluten, and soy. And that's literally the only two ingredients in there. I love that. I tried them like a week or two ago, and I had no signs of SIBO gut issues. I can eat like a half a cup of rice a couple times a week, and these didn't bother my stomach. Like I said, I am incorporating new foods into my diet, which is so exciting. But I love that these are two ingredients. I love that they're gluten-free and they taste good. The whole family loved them. Doug said he thought they tasted a little bit grainy. I didn't feel that. I thought that they were very smooth personally, but I also haven't had a noodle in years, probably since I was pregnant with Liv, so three and a half years ago. It's been a long time. So these were a win for us. I'll have the recipe listed in the description box down below. Hello. I want you guys to know I'm eating this. I don't really feel like a full salad, especially since it's 3.30 now. It's almost four o'clock and we're gonna be eating at five. So I'm just gonna eat my salmon cakes. I'm gonna go snuggle live and then I'm gonna prep some dinner. We've hit the golden hour though, as you guys will know, or if you guys are new to my channel, hey, welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because I forgot to say that earlier. This recipe calls for onion and garlic I obviously omit that for SIBO gut issues. However, I'm gonna include it in the recipe so that if you are not dealing with SIBO gut issues, you can just add it in there and I'm sure it'll be delicious. I'm swapping out the red onion for green onions because it gives it that nice, delicious onion taste. We love her. And then I'm gonna add in bell peppers to mine because I want extra veggies. Tip for your ginger, if you keep it in the freezer, you can easily grate it without it like getting stringy and crazy. Okay, so I've started making dinner and it's gonna just go really fast. So I've got my chicken cooking and one way that I'm going to incorporate that garlic kind of a taste is I'm using a little bit of the garlic infused olive oil. When I first got diagnosed with SIBO, my symptoms were so severe that I could not eat this. However, I can eat garlic infused olive oil now. So just in moderation, I just drizzled the pan for the chicken. And then I'm gonna drizzle the pan again when I do the veggies, just to add that garlic element in it. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying It is a couple days later. I was going to just sign off after the what I eat in a day video. But after Tiny Tots, Liv just needs a little bit more of mom and dad support and hanging out with her and just giving her full attention. And so I didn't feel like I could film dinner. So yes, I absolutely did eat the chicken pad thai that I made. Mmm, you guys. It is delicious. So if you guys try that recipe, let me know in the comments down below or go tag me on Instagram. I'm Charlene Town underscore. I would love to see your guys' recipes. I want to just preface that this video is just for inspiration. There is no way that you can eat like me and feel like me. I just wanna give you guys inspiration of different foods to try, especially if you're struggling with chronic pain, inflammation, SIBO gut issues, because when I was diagnosed 
diagnosed with SIBO, when I was diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis, I had no idea. Like I was watching fitness channels and it was all like eat eggs and veggies or boiled chicken and veggies. And that's not how I want to eat because that's very bland and boring. But also some of the things that they were eating, I couldn't even eat. So I just want to make sure you guys know, listen to your body, eat the foods that feel good for you and your body. The low FODMAP SIBO protocol that I do over on my website. So go check that out if that's something that you're interested in just checking out. But it's so limited that I got into a mind frame of, oh my goodness, I can't eat anything. And so I wasn't eating. So if I can eat something and it doesn't trigger inflammation or bloating in my body, it's okay. It's a go <laughs> according to my holistic doctor. So just have an awareness of what foods are triggering the bloat in your body and listen to your body. So this video was really just a see what I can eat and inspiration. And I hope that you guys found some inspiration in that and that you guys find a recipe that you guys can eat that is so delicious that you guys really enjoy because that's what it's all about. I see you. If you guys are just being diagnosed with SIBO gut issues and you guys are just starting a low FODMAP diet, let me know in the comments down below what questions you guys have. I am actually getting ready to film a video what I wish I knew before I started my low FODMAP SIBO paleo based diet journey because the beginning of my journey was really hard and I cried a lot and I get a lot of emails from you guys saying the same thing like you guys walk around the grocery store in tears because you guys can't eat the foods that you guys are normally used to eating I see you I was that girl too, I promise. So I'm getting ready to film a video that talks all about the things that I wish I knew. So if you guys have any specific questions, let me know in the comments down below because I want to be able to answer your specific questions in that video. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it lets me know that you guys like content like this. And don't forget to subscribe before taking off because it really supports my channel. If you hit that little notification bell, it'll send you a notification my next video comes out. And I so appreciate each and every one of you. I'm sending so much love your way and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.